Welcome back to the channel once again, and today we are making another bait. I hope that you watched my other video where we made a balsa crankbait. This time we are making a topwater walking bait, and this time somebody's actually paying me for it. So we'll see how this one goes. So I've got a couple of shapes drawn out here. A couple of these are going to be baits that I make for myself. Uh, this one here in the middle is the bait that we're going to work on and uh, build for a topwater walking bait. So I took the coping saw and I cut out a rough fish shape. And uh, I'm going to redraw the lines on top to cut out some more. But wanted to give you an idea of what it's looking like so far. Doesn't look like it did much, but I've rounded it off. And now I'm going to sand it. So that way it has more of a smooth finish to it rather than all these facets from the knife uh, cuts. Time to bust out the crusty sandpaper. All right, that's pretty smooth. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll make a line for the through wire. Gonna do a through wire on this bait. Make sure that it's nice and solid for the guy who's going to get it. All right, got the slot cut down the middle and it's ready for a wire so for the front bend of the bait i'm going to make this r shape that way the actual line tie is hanging below the bait rather than straight out i think that'll give it a little better action i'd say that's looking pretty good there what do you think i filled up the hook slot with uh super glue and baking soda so we got a nice strong connection for the wire now we're going to add some weight, uh, putting a lot of lead in this bait because it's balsa and it's going to float real hard. I want to make sure that it's balanced and has most of the weight here in the tail. So I didn't record any of the paint process, uh, but this is how it came out. I did everything hand painted and I did a sexy shad pattern. Now you may not recognize this as the traditional sexy shad that you get from Strike King, but this is actually the original color that they made and Mark Zona called sexy shad. But they decided that it wasn't good for marketing and they updated it so that way the uh, blue is on top now, the gray went away, and there's now a black and yellow line down the middle that's more prominent. The pink and the yellow on the belly just went away completely and got replaced by orange. But nobody cares, so there you go. So we did a red hook up front, and then I gave him a sure set in the back. Uh, you get the janky hook because you only paid me $10 for this bait. So it'll get the job done for now. So what do you think? How is the finished product? Would you toss this? It's a pretty beefy lure. I'm sure this will catch uh, lots of bass, pickerel, maybe even striper and blues. Uh, comment below if you want one of these. <laughs>